Oh my god, that feels nice. It's like walking into a freezer. Whoa. guys welcome to Singapore so I have just arrived to Singapore today such a big adventure this is a very exciting moment though because this is a new country for me meaning this is the 30th country I've been to now which is crazy I'm 24 years old and I've traveled to 30 countries within like I think that's like a five year time period so I'm pretty proud about that um, but I'm really looking forward to traveling throughout Singapore. I'm spending the next four days here um, and then after Singapore I am going down to Jakarta which is around Java so I'm going through Java then back to Bali around 8th of July because I've got to be back in Bali to see my sister for one week so that is my journey over the next week and a half I think yeah that's my journey for then but in the meantime I'm gonna check out Singapore and see what I can find. This is probably the most iconic spot in Singapore is the Super Tree Grove. So all this here lights up at night. It'd be really, really cool to check all this at night. <laughs> it is amazing because they actually got like all the bushes growing right up the palms. I don't know what the music's going on though. It kind of sounds like, like haunted Disney music. <laughs> Alright, so it turns out there's like a Toy Story theme going on because I think like the new Toy Story 4 is coming out. So they've got like Toy Story stuff there, Bo Peep's adventure. I think that's why it kind of feels like I'm in Disney World right now. Thing. That's a golden pheasant apparently. That is amazing. Uh, yeah, just that one. Just for one. So when you're in Singapore, these are like the two main tourist attractions you go to the cloud forest and the flower forest. Is it called that again? Yeah, I think it's called that. <laughs> so the ticket for that is 28 Singapore dollars and I'm gonna do it right now. Thank you. Oh my God, that feels nice. It's like walking into a freezer. Whoa. literally better than I expected. How yeah, amazing this waterfall. Like, seeing it in photos is pretty amazing, but seeing it in person, it has blown my mind. And it literally feels like you're walking into a giant refrigerator. It's just so cool in here.
happening down here? Is this a shopping center? No way! This is actually a pool. You are kidding me. This, that goes under. That actually goes under like the restaurant. It's like little gondola rides. This is nuts. down there. I thought it was an ice skating rink. Alright, so what better way to end my night than watching the Spectrum Lights and Water Show. So this is right on the water. Every night, I think it's every night, from 8pm and like from what I've heard of it, it looks amazing. Like if you have seen the Bellagio in Vegas, I heard it beats that, so we're getting really, really excited to see what it's like. We've got a couple more minutes, guys, and this is going to go off. And to top it off, the fireworks. I didn't even know there was going to be fireworks, but that literally just made the night. Ah, uh, well, I have really enjoyed my first day in Singapore, and it has literally blown my mind. It's blown my expectations of what I thought it was going to be like. Um, literally, it is pretty much cross between Vegas and Canada. I say Canada because it's on the water, and just having all like the big buildings in the background. It just kind of feels a bit like Vancouver in a way. Um, but yeah, I really, really love it here and I'm looking forward to venture around over the next few days because there's a lot more things I want to check out. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I really need to get some sleep because, <laughs> because before I arrived to Singapore, I had a nine hour layover in the Kuala Lumpur airport and I had one hour sleep. So I'm gonna catch up on my sleep and see you guys in the next video. Bye.